<laughs> Perfect. Like. Sycamore Junior High. Today is Friday, April 29, 2022, and welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Khadija. Happy Friday, everyone, and can you believe it's the end of April? I'm Savannah. I know this is our last April episode before we go into our last full school month of May, and we're officially done with school state testing. Um, yay. And if you haven't got a chance to have seen our school play, it's awesome. Hi, I'm Gray, and now let's all please unite and honor our free America by standing and placing our hand over our heart to say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, and please be seated. Okay, poetry writers, this coming Monday, May 2nd, is the deadline of our annual Junior High Mikey Drew Up Poetry Award Contest. If you had procrastinated, now is, is the time that you make sure that you go to the contest Google Classroom code, R-O-E-M-7-D-I, right here, to get the contest information. Yes, make sure to register today and or over the weekend for the Mikey Drew Up Poetry Contest. Now, over to our very awesome Mrs. Bernowski for a special Fundathon update. Hi, staff and students of Sycamore Junior High. Mrs. Bernowski here with an update on all things Funathon. As a reminder, Funathon is going to occur on Friday, May 13th. It's a fundraiser to raise money for Sycamore Junior High clubs, activities, and sports. It's a celebration that air assessments are completed, and it's a party to celebrate the end of the year. As a reminder, to raise money, please have a guardian or parent open an account on PledgeStar and contribute money. You can send a link to your account to family and friends and all money goes back to the junior high. Don't forget, there will be fabulous activities at Funathon if we raise enough money. For example, Hey students, if we raise $25,000, we can get a juggler for Funathon. Lavercombe, a professional juggler from the Cincinnati Circus. All right, students, $25,000 or the staff members will be juggling. Big money! Big money! All right. That's right, everybody. At this point, we are up to almost $3,000 we've raised for our school. So far, students will be allowed to have their phones out and Mr. Aviator will be visiting us. If we get up to $5,000, we'll allow everybody to get out into the track. As you can see, these are all the fabulous prizes we can get to if we raise enough money. So, open an account on PledgeStar today. Send the link out to family and friends, and all money goes back to Sycamore Junior High. Huh, I thought that number would be higher. I think we can do way better than that at Sycamore Junior High. Let's do it. Just give what you can to help for our Thonathon succeed. I'm really looking forward to the Thonathon during school time and spending fun time with my friends. I would at least like to move into the next level rewards. Me too. Me three. Another responsibility item here. We need to check everything <laughs> in the Lost and Found tables, people. Okay? Okay. Everything goes to a local charity this Monday, May 2nd. If you are missing something, please check the Lost and Found tables in the cafeteria today or Monday. Okay, a special thanks to Elijah and Ani for creating these visuals. Wow, what a first performance last night at our Willy Wonka Jr. crew and cast. We have some special guests in the studio today. Hi, this is our musical Willy Wonka and these are the main characters in our musical. I'm Aubrey and I'm an Oompa Loompa. I'm Hadley and I play Baruch Assault. I'm Salem and I play Mike TV. I'm Andy and I play Violet Beauregard. I'm Sylvia and I play Grandma Jo. I'm Violet and I play Phineas Trout. I'm Jaden Pritchett and I play Charlie Bucket. I'm Patrick Everly and I play Mr. Salt. I'm 
Chloe Robinson, and I play Mrs. Boulevard. I'm Avery Eckert, and I play Miss TV. Um, I'm Ollie Davies, and I play Augustus Gloop. I'm Emma, and I play Miss Gloop. I'm Carter Allen, I play Willy Wonka. Come, Come to our, our show! show! Wow, that's so awesome. I definitely need to go see that play. Today is World Wish Day. Celebrating the anniversary of the Make-A-Wish Foundation. The organization shares stories of how a wish come true gave a child the strength they needed to fight their illness to participate in this day. Help a child wish come true by making a donation to make a wish. You can also encourage a child who is battling an illness or do what you can to help their wish come true. Make a wish was formed in 1980. A seven-year-old boy named Christopher Gracious inspired the founding of the organization who was battling leukemia and had a wish to be a police officer. In 2010, Make-A-Wish celebrated its 30th anniversary by creating a World Wish Day. Since its inception, Make-A-Wish has granted over 500,000 wishes in nearly 50 countries. Whoa! Now for the fact of the day. Did you know that we share about 99% of our DNA with chimps, 90% with cats, and 84% with a dog? Whoa. <laughs> what? Today's daily survey. So yesterday's survey asked which online learning platform you preferred. Book it, Game Kit, Quizlet, Quizzes, or Kahoot. And the crowd favorite was Book It. That's my favorite too. Check out today's daily survey on the news crew communications classroom. Next up, birthdays. Happy birthday to Lisa K today. Happy belated birthday to Mackenzie L, Oliver P, Jonathan, and Sydney V. And happy birthday to Sahani P, James W, Lillian W, and staff member Mr. Teets, who will all celebrate during the weekend. We hope you all have a great and wonderful birthday. Now over to our wonderful and magnificent Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High. I'm back with your video announcements. All right, have, hope everyone's having a happy Friday. Hey, you're missing something? Look around. You can't find something? It is probably in the lost and found down in the cafeteria. I would check lost and found today, okay, because on Monday, that stuff is going out of here. We're going to donate it. So check lost and found. If you got anything lost, do that as soon as possible. Konnichiwa, international club you're going to meet today in room 214. The focus country is Japan, and we will celebrate uh, by making strawberry mokai, moki, to, to celebrate the upcoming Asian Pacific Heritage Month in May. And they said it's moshi, moshi, okay? Strawberry moshi, all right? So stop by international club today. We the people, your party time is Friday, May 6th from 7 to 8 a.m. in the Media Center. All right, so we the people, your little after party is happening then. Make sure you return your books to either Mr. Gutermuth, Mr. Hammer, or Ms. Carter in the Media Center. Bring your party hats and your appetite. Hey, eighth graders, student council is back at the high school. Remember, this is a class. It's been gone for two years, but if you're interested in student council, you will be assigned that as a class, all right? If. We have more than six people. We will have an election. Those 75-word essays are due today. You need to get those in today. If you got questions, i check with Mrs. DiOrio right away for the guidelines and information on how to submit your essay because that essay is due today. All right, if you missed the junior high boys soccer meeting today, please stop, stop by Mr. Tanaka's room to receive the handout. And Willy Wonka went off last night. They said it was a great show. Make sure you guys don't miss it. You can still see it tonight and tomorrow. Purchase your tickets before the show on avestheater.org for $10 because if you pick, pick them up at the door, it's going to be $12. That is taking place at the high school theater at 7 o'clock. So check out Willy Wonka Jr. That's it for me. Enjoy your weekend. I'll see you guys on Monday. Peace. Now, Lily, with the Pets of the Week. Hello, and welcome to the Pet of the Week segment. This week's pets are Foxy and Ace, submitted by Riley D. Maisie, submitted by Mackenzie C. Cooper and Peanut, submitted by Eleanor H. Maria T. submitted her pets Milo and Macy. And Benji, submitted by Anushka B. Here's some fun facts about Eleanor's pets. Peanut weighs over 13 pounds, and that is over one and a half gallons of water. Cooper is a hunter dog that hunts birds. Oh, and congrats to Maria for being the 90th submission. Okay, most of you thought that the dog breed last week was, or a cat breed last week was the orange tabby cat, and most of you are correct. There will be no pet guests for this week. Okay, this week we're featuring a dog that was found right here in Montgomery. Currently, he's listed as lost, so if this is not, so this is your dog, contact Cincinnati Animal Care. If Zigzag is not reclaimed, he should be up for adoption soon. 
On Monday morning, this dog was found tied to the mailbox of Montgomery Presbyterian Church. If you don't know where that is, it's on Zigzag Road. Since the dog was found on Zigzag, his name is Zigzag. He's a pit bull terrier mix. If you'd like to adopt this adorable dog who's in need of a home, he's up for adoption soon on Cincinnati Animal Care. Thanks to Mrs. Morris for telling me about Zigzag. Uh, in the next couple weeks, I'm going to post all of the pets that have ever been featured, along with the Google form. You can vote for your favorite pet. Also, if you have an internet pet or fake pet that you'd like to be featured, you can submit it on the new assignment under Pet of the Week. Thanks for watching and have a great day. What's for lunch today? For lunch, we will have the mashed potato bowls. We will also serve hamburgers and cheeseburgers. Well, that's all big news we have today. Have a great weekend. Maybe we'll see you at the Willy Wonka Jr. play tonight or tomorrow. Maybe. If not, we'll see you in May. Yes, enjoy your weekend. May? Wow. Not for the joke of the day. Thanks to Brody M. and Mrs. Hurley's sixth spell class for another science joke today. What did the biologist wear to impress his date? I'm not sure. Designer jeans. <laughs> Go Aves!